Have you ever wondered what sound actually is? I mean, really thought about it? It's not magic, it's physics, and it's happening all around you, all the time. Let's break it down. Every sound, from the strum of a guitar to the clap of thunder, starts with a vibration. Imagine plucking a guitar string. You see it wiggling back and forth, right? Those tiny movements are the birthplace of sound. As the string vibrates, it pushes on the air particles right next to it. Think of it like a gentle shove in a crowded room. That first particle bumps into its neighbor, which then bumps into the next one, and so on. This creates a chain reaction, a wave of energy spreading outwards from the source. This is a sound wave. These waves travel through the air as areas of high and low pressure. The pushed together particles are the high pressure parts, and the spaced out particles are the low pressure parts. It's this alternating pattern that makes up the wave, and it's surprisingly fast. Sound travels through air at about 767 miles per hour. That's why you see lightning before you hear the thunder. Light is way faster. But what happens when sound hits something other than air, like water? If you've ever been swimming underwater, you know you can still hear things, sometimes even more clearly. That's because water particles are packed much more closely together than air particles. So, when a vibration starts, it can pass from one particle to the next much more efficiently. In fact, sound travels about four times faster in water than in air. It's the same principle for solids. Put your ear against a wall, and you can hear a conversation in the next room better. The solid wall carries the vibrations directly to you. This leads to a fascinating question. Can sound travel in space? The answer is a definitive no. Space is a vacuum, which means it's mostly empty. There are hardly any particles to bump into each other. Without a medium like air, water, or a solid to carry the vibrations, sound simply can't exist. It's complete and total silence. That's why in sci-fi movies, those epic spaceship explosions would actually be completely quiet. So, when a sound wave finally reaches you, what happens? Those pressure waves travel down your ear canal and hit your eardrum, causing it to vibrate. These vibrations are then passed through a series of tiny bones and converted into electrical signals. Your brain receives these signals and interprets them. It's your brain that tells you, that's a bird singing, or that's my favorite song. Every single sound is a story, a message carried on invisible waves of movement, translated by the incredible supercomputer in your head. So next time you hear something, take a second to appreciate the incredible journey that sound took to reach you. It's a physical story traveling through the world, just for you to hear. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the world around us. See you next time.